Right guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Projects and welcome back and thanks for watching. So I was digging through all my old white dwarves and then I realised we're in October, it is October and when I saw this I thought to myself, you know what, let's have a little look at this, let's share this with YouTube, let's share this with the community and reminisce on you know, when, when orcs were, the, well, the models, shall we say, when the orc models were quite poor and then they brought out the new codex and the new models and they vastly improved. And it, it's a similar feeling as, as now because obviously the, the war buggies, the old ones, are quite poor. Um, retro and cool, but they're, they're not, they, they, they lack the update of about 20 years. So that's what I'm feeling now, the way I felt back then when, when Games, Workshop, Games Workshop brought out the new Orc models. So this White Dwarf, I don't oh it's from July, July issue 235, and this was released in, I think it was 1999, because that's when the Codex was released, and this is hyping the Codex up, so I'm presuming it was around that time. Now... The old co the old white dwarfs used to be three pound fifty. Look at that! It's a big difference now, isn't it? It's like six pound now, isn't it, for for a um a white dwarf? Um, you know, some can argue twenty years later it's you know increased by what about forty percent? Um, they they have more pages. There's more content. It's better quality. But we're not we're not here to discuss that. We're here to take a look. At the retro white dwarf so this is about 100 pages in here which is quite small really isn't it but uh, uh, th this just brings back so many fond memories for me um <coughs> i used to uh, go to my local um news agents each month get these and i used to sneak them into school i'm sure danny will be watching and my friend dean and it, i wonder if they remember when i used to bring i literally used to bring a stack full of white dwarfs in my rucksack and we used to just read them all day in school. It's probably why I didn't do very good in school, but you know this caught my attention more. So, and as we can see, it's a little bit battered, but it's 19 years old and obviously didn't look after things as, as well as it should back then. So anyway, so yeah, on page seven, we've got the Orc Codex. Um, Gork told me to do it. And the Chambers, oh wow. Let's get this a better view here. Look at that, Andy Chambers, now that's a name that also brings back fond memories, it reminds me of a time when life was a lot more simple, it was a lot more easier, it was better, um, Games Workshop was a like, completely different company back then, the prices were completely different, so Andy Chambers brings back fond memories, I don't even know who writes the codexes at the moment, I don't even know who the authors are. Um, and I don't even buy White Dwarf at the moment. So we've got a bit of information about the Gothic fleet as well. Battlefleet Gothic. And in this in this um, issue, we got a free Codex Assassins. Now, over the years, Games Workshop, they, they stopped giving free stuff away, and recently they have done it in, in a couple of um, issues. So we've got some more information about the WAG and some new stores. So... How many did they have? They had across the world. They had two hundred back then. Um, located in sixteen countries, from Wellington to New Zealand to Hong Kong, North America, and much of Europe. How times have changed! I believe they've got a hell of a lot more than that now. Oh, <gasps> the Walking Dead. Games Workshop needs to copyright that and get a hold of them. There you are, next issue, the the Eldar, not Eldari, not Craftworld, the Eldar Codex was due for release. And there's, there's a front cover of the Orc Codex. Here's some information and new rules. Look at that nice bit of artwork there. Look at that. That's absolutely stunning. Isn't it? I love the old artwork. And there's your new Orc Boys in action. That. I think that's great. Fond memories, fond, fond memories. Yeah, example of the. 
comes with a pretty close combat. More beautiful artwork, the old Metal War boss. I don't think you can buy him anymore. I think he's out, out of uh, stock, unless he's in resin now. He's out, out of production. And here's a nice army. Look at this Orgwa. Absolutely fantastic. My favourite, the Storm Boys here. I believe that was a conversion done by Andy Chambers. Here's the old war buggies and, and trucks. And the bikes, look at them. The old killer cans. Isn't it crazy how times have changed? So orc invasion. So the, the orcs are back and they're bigger, meaner, greener than ever before. So these are the official new orcs that came out back then. And, and they were a lot better than the second edition orcs. Look at the poses on them. Well, it's like sort of like a mono pose, isn't it? To an extent, but... They're just uh, charismatic, aren't they? Full of flavour, full of life. And then, oh yes, yeah, so that's the shooter boys. And then there's your sluggers and choppers. And then there's some more. Here are boys down here. Oh, why does this AF keep on coming on? I turned it off three times on. Yeah, so there's your R boys, your new Gretchen as well. Look at them, that's cool. Oh, the, so these are the old Storm Boys, I think. Yeah, they were the old Storm Boys. I wonder if you can still buy them. It'd be quite quite cool to have some of them, just to add to them to my army. Give a bit more flavour. The old Burner Boys. When you used to have to buy them in the blister packs. Two metal Burner Boys. So that's that for, for the Orcs. A bit of fantasy stuff here, which is no more, unfortunately. We will never see that logo ever again in Games Workshop. This Gorka Morka piece for, from Golden Demon. Absolutely fantastic. Looks beautiful. <coughs> bit of information. Golden Demon 99. So, yeah, this is definitely from 1999. Yeah, your, your Games Day official Golden Demon entry form. They don't do date Games Day anymore, do they? They stopped doing that, which is a bloody shame. Gary James, the big boss. So here's some of his miniatures, his conversions. And here's his army blood axes, I think these are. That was an Ogren conversion. So are we all looking forward to the, to the new release of Orcs at the end of the month? Because let's face it, that's when it's going to be, isn't it? Payday weekend. What's this? Battlefleet Gothic, is it? Battlefleet Gothic. Whatever happened to this? We stopped doing this as well, haven't we? Maybe it wasn't as popular as you thought. Lovely Blood Angels army there. More Golden Angels. Do you remember these? Absolutely lovely. I wish I had them. I, want, I think that there's a battle report in here as well. Some more information about the orcs. How to come. Oh, look at this! Games Workshop used to do conversion pieces, and I don't know whether they do that anymore. Um, from what I remember, they, they sort of went away from that. More fantasy. Not really interested in that, are we? Chapter approved. So they were doing that back then as well. Oh yeah, they have. They did do a battle report. Let's just have a little look at the armies. So we've got some storm, um, storm boys at the back. Um, stick bomber guys, which I think weren't they classed as a separate unit back then? Some Gretchen. Um, your, your war bikes. Some uh, boys there with sluggers and choppers, shooters at the back. Got a, that knob, do you remember that knob? You can't buy him anymore either. The old killer cans at the back, the metal ones. How many points is this? 2,000 points that was. 
brings back so many memories. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. Um, looking forward to the orc release. Let's see whether orcs have been nerfed. Yeah, look. <laughs> look what I've done here. I don't know what that, that means. One, four, three, and two mean. Is that, was, I wonder if that was the, uh, the price increase, maybe. But as you can see, back in 1999, I was interested in orcs. Um, I did buy a couple, but I never actually made a full army. So yeah, as I was saying, I wonder if orcs are going to get nerfed. Are they going to be made overpowered? We'll have to see. And I can't wait to find out. So guys, thanks for watching. Let me know any experiences that you have with orcs back in the day, 1999 or before. And I'll see you soon. Try guys.